Before I started podcasting, I always felt alone. I have four sisters, but still, there was never anyone I could share the true depth of my interests with. It wasn't a physical loneliness, but an intellectual void that sometimes I feared would drown me. I lived amid a sea of frivolity. So what inspired you to start podcasting? My very first episode was titled How to Identify Pride versus Vanity in Others. I had just read a fascinating sermon on the topic, but when I went to share all I had learned with my family, I'm not even sure they heard what I said. I realized that I couldn't be the only enlightened spirit in the world, so I picked up a microphone, pressed record, and let my light shine forth, confident that the few deserving would see it and respond, and that we could form a true sisterhood. This is another episode of the Elegant Intellect Podcast with Mary Bennett, where we learn how to rise above the generality of female minds. In today's episode, we're going to talk about how to improve a less clever husband so he can become an agreeable companion. And have you found what you were seeking? I discovered that my desire to live a ladylike, virtuous, accomplished lifestyle was shared by many women all over the world. What topics have especially resonated with your audience? I would say my most popular episode is how to be guarded in your behavior toward the unworthy of the other sex. Of course, a truly virtuous lady can never be too guarded. My audience appreciates practical, everyday tips, such as my episodes on how to moralize over every social occasion, how to seize upon every chance to exhibit, and how to infinitely prefer a book. You mentioned earlier that your first episode was inspired by reading. Is that where you still get most of your inspiration from? Yes, a great deal of my ideas still do come from books. I must admit that some of my podcasts are inspired by unsettling matters amid my own family circle. For example, how to pour forth sisterly consolation into the bosom of others was an especially personal episode. Looking forward with this success, what are your plans for the future? I want to continue to uplift humanity, one listener at a time.